sucks. At no point you can go out into that big city you saw during the this loading screen. This is an screen. outrage! The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony? The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Saren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action! You don't get to make demands of the Council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Saren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. See how useless the Council is. Captain Anderson, Yay for I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime, in case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. Morons. I'm not gonna sit on my ass just because the Council doesn't want to do anything. If they won't stop Saren, I will. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not his. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. The and that's why I hate politicians. The joys of bureaucracy, oh yeah. Ah! Everybody pulls out their guns. Yeah, okay, uh, let's see if I can remember my way around this tower. I know it was pretty long and complicated. Oh man! Oh, I'll have to wait. Uh, okay, never mind. I'll show you. I'll show you these guys. These guys are amazing. These guys are incredible. See these dudes? Okay, but yeah, these dudes. Um, I believe they're called the Elcor, and they are like the best aliens ever. I think these guys are so incredibly awesome. I'll talk to this guy. Please greeting. Human, it is always good to see oh your man. kind. I am Ambassador Kalen. Genuine query. Is there something I can do for you this <laughs> oh, day? Oh, these guys. Why do you explain what you're about to say? Our people communicate less through words and more through scent and slight movements. Plainly, we discovered our vocal expression was not enough to convey the feelings of our conversations to other species. Why do you bother, Kalen? These Earth Clan don't really care about our ways. Remorseful response, Din. You don't truly believe that. And if you do, I am very sorry for yeah, you. Shut up, space midget. Tell me more about your species. Genuine enthusiasm. <laughs> I delight oh. in telling the history of it my people. It gets me every time. It is agreeable to share our culture with others. Sorry, um, uh, I guess we'll, we'll explore this just because I think it's incredibly interesting to learn about all the aliens. Tell me about the history and origins of the Elcor. The Elcor were just beginning to explore Council space when the Asari first made contact with us. With their help, we discovered the relay closest to our system, and from there the Citadel. Proudly. Within one lifetime, we established a regular route to the Citadel, and quickly became one of the more active species living on this great station. Uh, about the culture. I'd like to know more about the culture of the Elcor. Frankly, we Elcor prefer the safety and familiarity of our own colonies to the confines of space travel. Our society is built on small, tight-knit groups. Though we are always welcoming to outsiders, our government tends to be very stable. Our people are not very comfortable with sudden changes. Yeah, neither are ours. Uh, what do you do here? Modestly. I work to bring the problems and the requests of the Elcor groups to the attention of the Council. Ha! They only give us these positions to keep us quiet. 
The council doesn't care about our races. Chastising rebuke. Your tone is inappropriate, Dan. This human is not to blame for your malcontent or your misconceived suspicions. Indeed. Stupid space midgets. Goodbye, Ambassador. Sincere farewell. Good day to you, human. Enjoy your time on the Citadel. I gotta talk to this guy, I believe. I gotta, Hello I there, gotta get a human. quest. Sincere apology, but I am here on business and cannot be distracted right now. You seem distressed. Is there something I can do to help? Alarmed response. You overheard that, did you? This is all going so wrong. And it is the Asari Consort's fault. She's the one who started all this. Who's this Asari Consort? Curious. You have not heard. You must be new to the Citadel. Everyone knows Shatyura, the Consort. I cannot speak more about this problem. It is too sensitive. Suffice it to say, she has compromised my authority as a diplomat. Where can I find the Sasari Consort? She is across the bridge from here. So. Her offices are easy enough to spot. So I'm not sure what, e Good what day, exactly Emma. happened, but I'm going to assume that they slept together. And I'm going to assume that because the physics of that are mind-boggling. I mean, look at this guy. Look at this guy. He's like four tons, and he doesn't really have a face. I mean, he, he kind of has a series of flaps that he uh, m moves back and forth in order to talk. But uh, there, then there's these guys, the space midgets. I forget what they're called exactly. Earth Clan, you are in the wrong place, I think. Your ambassador is next door in the large office. Chastising remark. Don't be so rude, I love Dan. these guys. Oh my god. At least introduce yourself. <sighs> I am Din Korlak, Volus Ambassador. Is there something I can do for you, Earth Clan? Uh, let's talk about the Volus for a little I'd bit. I'd like to know more about the Volus. I'm sure our history and culture would bore you, Earth Clan. Might bore some of you, but actually, not me. I would like to know more about your history. My people came to the Citadel shortly after the Asari and Salarians had discovered it. We were instrumental in establishing a standardized galactic economy. However, despite our long association with the Citadel and our many contributions to galactic society, we still do not hold a seat on the council. <laughs> More like you need to hold a stool on the council. Tell me about Volus culture. We are tribal by nature, but our ways are not violent. We barter and trade our lands and tribe members in order to increase status. Larger tribes often engulfed smaller ones and eventually split again. Our society is very malleable, and our government is always shifting and changing. Since we're not physically adept, we trade our services so for protection. So, I guess essentially the Elcor are like the Swiss, and the Volus are like the Belgians. And if you get that, you are a very, very cool person. You seem to have a bit of a chip on your shoulder, Din. You humans are new to the Citadel, and yet the Council has granted you great favor. <sighs> Chastising rebuke, Din. Your species has always been granted many concessions. Volus territory has expanded tenfold since coming to the Citadel. <laughs> Details. We still have no real say in the decisions that affect Citadel space. Oh, I'm tired of Goodbye, your, Ambassador. your depressing thoughts. Yes, yes. Good day, Earth Clan. But I'll do a little segment where I go over all the aliens and I'll briefly describe uh, a little bit about each, each one of them because they are some very, very cool aliens in this game. Like some really cool uh, stuff. Although my favorite still are easily the, the Alcor. To the Presidium. I don't need Allow to talk to you. To I need to go to the, uh, the Citadel. But yeah, uh, Alcor, yeah, I easily think that they're the coolest, uh, aliens in the game. If not the coolest aliens I've ever seen.